I'm Denver 7's Ali Jadarjan. An AI data center is under construction in the Elyria Swansea neighborhood, and Denver 7 has been listening to community concerns about the environmental impact it could have on an already underserved community well into the future. This new data center alone could use up to 75 megawatts, and some residents I heard from say they're worried this could lead to an increase in their power and water bills. Then there's the other concern. What will this do to the environment? Sidewalks in need of a little work, a smell wafting through the air coming from the Purina plant. Now, this shiny new 180,000 square foot AI data center in the middle of the Elyria Swansea neighborhood. It's maybe not the most valuable use of resources. I ran into Denver resident Mikey Savage while walking through the area. I think they're an environmental concern. He's written a paper on resources used to supply data centers like this one. They do require an insane amount of energy. They also take up a lot of water to cool the data centers. A spokesperson for the city's community and planning development team says this site development plan was approved in March of this year. And developers, CoreSite, tell me the site will bring more jobs to the area and deliver more than $200 million in tax revenue for the city over 20 years. It's the long-term impacts, though, people like Derek McCoy are worried about. I don't know that there's transparency or awareness within the community around what is this going to do to our energy bills, what is this going to do to our already degraded air quality, quality and, and water quality within these areas. McCoy is the executive director for Groundworks Denver, an environmental nonprofit. He says regulations for centers like this are scarce because artificial intelligence and its use is so new. Is there going to be any sort of supplemental income based off of the earnings of this to support community? Like, how can we partner with government to be able to make sure that the community's needs are getting met? in this process that maybe they didn't have choice, but is there any way that that can be uh, mitigated the damage towards them? Corsite leaders say our digital world and day-to-day -day needs like emergency services wouldn't function without data centers. Benefits that are hard for people like Savage to see beyond their concerns. But I don't know if it's necessarily like a long-term benefit for um, employees or employers. Now, CoreSite has two other data centers attached to this project, one on 15th Street and one on 18th Avenue. When finished, their campus will deliver about 600,000 square feet with 60 megawatts of power. Their goal is to have the site available next year.